Welcome to Hassle-Free Hosting with AirDXB, the podcast where we explore the world of short-term rentals in Dubai and beyond. Good morning. My name is Greg from AirDXB, and today I'm welcoming Tommy Johnson. How are you, Tommy? I'm very well, Gregory. How are you today? Fantastic, fantastic. Now, I bought you a present, which I would like you to wear for the duration of this, please. Oh, do I get to keep it? Oh, of course you do. <laughs> of course you do. Stunning. So, how are you? How's things? How's business? Life is good. Business is good. Enjoying uh, Dubai? Yeah, like 10 years now. Long time. Goes too quickly, though. It does. Blink and it is gone. Blink and it is gone. Right, so today we're going to talk about you. And we're going to talk about what you did with your hard-earned cash and what you bought in Dubai and why you chose to work with AirDXB. Amazing. Sounds I'm looking forward to it. Is that good with you? That is perfect with me. Good. Right, first things first. Why did you buy or consider <clears throat> real estate? Um, I don't know if you remember the... I think I was on my way back from Abu Dhabi. I've been in meetings all day. Um, and I was on my way back. And I think we said we were going to sync, sync up for a couple of beers, as always. Um, and I think I run the, uh, the idea by you that I was... Uh, obviously had some money in and I wanted to like try and not invest in something, but it was actually investing in something very uh, typical of Dubai, trying to buy a fancy car, right? I think yeah, you, I remember <laughs> that. What was it? Audi? Audi, Porsche, anything. It was I something could get my, uh, that was fast. Yeah. <laughs> get my uh, grubby little mitts on. And I, and I think you just vaguely looked at me, shook your head, went and bought me a pint. I'm like, right, I'm going to give you a bit of a life lesson here. Um, and then I just said, like, why are you not investing in real estate rather than buying a car that's going to cost you a thousand pounds a month? You can buy a piece of land here or whatever it may be in Dubai, buy an apartment that's actually probably going to make you a thousand pounds or two thousand yeah. pounds, whatever it may be. So yeah, there's, a, there's a big difference between someone spending a thousand pounds and then making a couple of thousand pounds a month. And I think probably by halfway through that pint, I was uh, pretty sold on probably buying some well, real well, estate. Well, there. that was the whole thing. It was about making money and not losing money. Yeah, yeah. Why lose that two grand when you can make that two grand? That's sterling, not dirhams, of course. Yeah, yeah, no, of so, course. Yeah, so I remember that. And then the next step was where to buy, wasn't it? If I remember correctly. That was exactly it. And I think we had... Um, Where would you buy? Well, we, I think... We Where did bought, you buy? So I bought in the marina <laughs> in Skyview Tower. So I ended, I ended up buying a property in 20005, which has an amazing view of the Ain Dubai and also the marina as well. So winding this one back, when you bought that, I think, as I said, we were talking as we were as, as two friends at the time about where to invest and what to do. So when you started considering the marina, what pulled you into that specific location? Um, well, I think I obviously tried to do my own due diligence and sort of like look around, especially looking at Airbnb, saying, right, where gets you high rentals? And even looking obviously at like long-term rents as well, just saying, right, where can I maximize my money? Um, and obviously I quite like the idea of being down the bottom end of JBR. It's easy access in and out. You can obviously walk to the start of JBR. You can just have a walk along. Easy access to obviously the metro and the trams, mm. which are in around that area. Um, and I said, obviously taking taking your good advice on it as well, saying that this is this is a good tower. Um, I think when I was looking at purchasing it, I think you Air DXB already had a couple of properties in the building where That's we fair. could run through some figures, and you could already show me some you know, real life examples of where clients are already making money with Air DXB. And it's you know, I think probably from that point onwards, it's kind of like you know my own due diligence is done here, and this is where I need to be with Air DXB, and this is how we're going to make money. Did you view the property? I did indeed. <laughs> uh, yeah. did you, you kind of viewed the property. Yeah, I kind of viewed the property. It's actually when I think had a uh, had a bad foot and I was in crutches. And uh, I think you also you set me up with uh, Jamie, who is uh, working in real estate at the time. Great agent that we were. Yeah, with. great, yeah. great agent. Really knowledgeable. Um, literally walked into there, and to be honest, with you, as soon as I viewed it, you know, myself, I'm terrible with interior design. Obviously, with Air DXB having their furnishing side of their business, and I said I've I've seen numerous obviously posts on Instagram from already. I said as soon as I walked in. I love the view. I like the layout. You'd already shown me mathematically that we can make money on this this apartment, and it's doing it time and time again. Yeah. So I think from that point, I must have like hopped around and then my cru uh, cr uh, crutches, crutches, yeah, in my crutches yeah. for about two minutes. I saw a, a nice view of Ain Dubai. Saw a nice view of the marina, and I was, and the guy was just like, "Do you want to you know, do you want to ha actually have a proper look around?" I was just like, "I'm sold." I, I think I think you missed the bedroom, didn't you? Yeah, I think like, I, yeah. there's a bedroom. There's another <laughs> sitting room. There's a kitchen. I'm done. Get on with it. Yeah, that's exactly it. Then it's just like, actually it was a three bed. Not, we not, like not our clients. Bed. Simple, straight to the point. Well, as I said, I think I have a lot of trust in air dxb and i said i knew you obviously been in business for a couple of years and the way you were, guys are growing and seeing the return on investment um as i said i you know, trusted jamie as soon as i met him and it just looked like a great apartment so i was, I was completely sold on it as soon as i saw it and i said i had that you know the, the figures to back it up from from air dxb winding this back <clears throat> winding this back i should say sorry it, 
let's talk about Dubai. Did you consider any other countries? Um, I think I briefly looked into the UK. Um, obviously, the UK being like a really stable market, you know, yeah. you're always probably going to guarantee it's going to go up in value a couple of percent every year. It might go up, might go down, but you know, in the long haul. But honestly, from what I wanted to achieve, especially being a little bit younger in my life, I wasn't necessarily looking for that massive stability of right. I'm going to make five percent over the next couple of years, and this is a safe bit of property. It's more of a how can I accelerate that growth through you know short term rentals in Dubai. Mm. You know, the market for me. Don't forget, we're coming post COVID. You know, I got, I got my property probably 30, 40% market value. So for me, long term, it was the, it's the long term value where this will go up 30, 40, 50% in value. But then it's also the short term value that obviously I'm getting um, compared to you know, long term rental as well. Tax. And tax free. Tax. Right? I mean, I know we've had that chat. When you start talking about the level of tax that you've got to pay in the UK versus if the asset was to depreciate, and we'll talk about what that asset has done in a minute but the level of depreciation that asset must take when you mark it against the tax that you were paying in the uk is substantial and i remember saying this to you keep your money here keep your money in dubai it's fluid so you can move it around wherever you want to it's tax free you know and, and we'll talk about in a minute again about edxb and how you do get paid but if moving this one on then so <clears throat> when you decided to buy it on your crutches after viewing it for two and a half minutes of that, right? <laughs> Life savings in, I'm in, I'm sold, I'm doing it. Short let. Why did you get on the short let rather than this, the, the, the long term aspect? Why didn't you move into it yourself? What pulled you into that short term? I think it was obviously taking uh, obviously your advice, Ed Dixby's advice. So it's very simple for, um, for me when you know you obviously have numerous clients in the building already that are, you know, have, have three beds. You know, you've shown me facts and figures about, right? This is what it's making short term. You know, I looked on to Bizzle, all the other properties, and I think, you know, it was coming out around, if I could rent it, it was probably about 120,000 dirhams. This, this was what, two years ago? Two, two years half, ago, yeah. So it would have been about 120,000 dirhams to rent for the year. I would have had to manage it. You know, that means, you know, as I don't want phone calls as a landlord saying, the, but, you know, there's a there's a leak, there's this, there's a problem with that. Like, I just didn't want the headache, right? And yeah. I guess that's one of the great things, obviously, with AirDXB, like, you know, I'll occasionally get a message saying, hey, Tom, by the way, here's an invoice. We've just fixed all this for you. Here's all the pictures, here's all the videos. And you just sit there going, hi, Greg, here's the money transferred. Yeah. It's, it's the hassle-free money-making machine that, you know, it's, it's almost too good to be true sometimes. I like right? that, sorry. <clears throat> hassle-free money-making machine. That's what EdXP does. That's that's for me. That's exactly what it is, right? And you know, earlier you touched on having you know keeping your money here, and I think I said to you the other day, you know, I've kept all my money that I've kept in there, and you know, as I said, you know, hopefully at this point during this year, I'll just buy another property with it. You know, yeah. you've got a property that's being paid off that I don't have any issues with. You know, as I said, I just you know I sit there at work half the time and I get a couple of text messages saying, you know, EdXP's transferred you some money. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like this is great. Why you're, you're at work? Why you're at work making money? Someone's messaging you like, here's more money. You're like, you know, it's almost like it's too good to be true. Honestly, as I said, it's uh, yeah, it's been a bit. It's just been a bit of a dream, really. So, <clears throat> when we talk again, to bring this back, when you talk about short let, so what pulled short let in, or, or, or it was something that you preferred over long term. Why did that pull you in, suck you in? I think it's 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 the the value that you get from obviously AirDXB and the sh and short term, right? It's yeah. the extra money that's coming into your account every single month, but it's also having AirDXB manage your property for you. Yeah. As I said, it, it's almost like I don't own a property, right? Because half the time I just all I said all I ever get is messages coming in saying, "Here's your money, here's your money." Oh, can you just send a quick invoice for this? Oh, we've we've done these, you know, we fixed this in the apartment. You know, for me, as I said, it's just that hassle free, you know, long term, you know, whenever I've rented long term over here, I used to moan at my landlord, this isn't good, this isn't good, I want this, I want that. And it's just like, do I really want to, you know, for me personally, I want, I want to have numerous properties here. Yeah. Do I want to sit there in a, in work and someone's calling me saying that they've got, you know, oh, the tap's not working, the sink's not working. It's just like, right, then you need to hire someone to go and do this or do that. It's yeah. just like, it's, I just, I didn't want that. I wanted my own time to be my own time whilst you have an asset making money. Yeah, agreed. It's, it's it's just for me it was an absolute no-brainer, right? Um, and then if we look at the the other advantages aside from the hassle-free money-making machine that AirDXP is, which I like, thank you for that. Is what other what other um, uses have you found from it? I know I remember you saying I think your parents have stayed there. Yeah, yeah. I mean, these sorts of things. For me, it's uh, it's that flexibility, right? So if you're renting out your property long term, you know, you you can't go walk in there when you want it and when you don't want it, right? You know, correct. That, uh, and, and, and you've got a twelve month term, then you've got a twelve month notice <laughs> period. Uh, you've then got to, of course, adhere to the regulations of RERA, 
Um, uh, as we know, things like securities with checks, that was decriminalized two years ago. Yeah. So, you know, putting a tenant in there, you're losing control of your asset. Yeah, exactly that, right? And as I said with me, I think, you know, I've had, I think I don't think I've ever actually stayed in there myself, weirdly enough, and I've had it really two years. Um, but I've don't had. You ever have, have you? No, I haven't. But I've had. I've been in there more than you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so good. <laughs> which is, which is what, it, what it should be. It's exactly what this should be. But the so. flexibility is if I message you, in, you know, and I know you spend a lot of time traveling as well, but if I message you and say, Greg, can I get in the apartment? As long as no one's in there, I know you're going to be like, yeah, here's the keys. Yeah. You exactly. know, if, Never mm. going to happen, but you know, when my family come over, my family stayed over there for seven to ten days, just very simple, right? You know, I know you blocked out the calendar and stuff like that. I've had other friends, I've had friends that have booked it through Air DXB. It's just having that, fle- that, that pure flexibility of an asset that, as I said, yeah. I know we obviously spoke about saying it's just you know, generating cash left, right, and center, but it's honestly, as I said, it's just hassle free flexibility it's just everything that a long term isn't basically yeah. you know even when long term you know if long term is slowly starts to creep up near those figures you're still locked in to tenants you don't have control of that asset you're at the mercy of someone else with Dubai courts whatever it may be the Dubai, rear, the rear, uh, uh, a calculator just, so yeah, you're dictated exactly to that. your rent and yeah, as yeah. I said yeah, and, and you know uh, unless someone's managing that property for you you know you're the one responsible for it yeah so yeah. I, 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 honestly, I just don't see a huge amount of upside from uh, from the long term. Would rental. you? I suppose you couldn't because I'm going to shoot from the hip on this. But what? How much do you value retaining control over that asset? So I'm sure if someone walked in and said, "Here's half a million dirhams for the year," you take it. I'll tell you to take it. Yeah. <laughs> but when you actually consider that you've retained control of that asset, um, we don't know what's going to come up in the financial world situation. Obviously, we've seen a major bank, the 16th biggest in in the States, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah Silicon Valley Bank. Yeah. Silicon Valley Bank. Is that if something's coming, which I believe something is, but we don't know what magnitude, I mean, having that control over that asset, should something ever change in your life? Yeah, it's absolutely amazing. Um, and it, it's, it's quite funny because my landlord, so I, I stay on the palm now, my landlord's selling this apartment and he obviously hasn't served me any notice, but he's found someone to buy it and wants to move in straight away. Uh, so now I'm playing the game of basically saying to the landlord, like, you need to pay me X amount of money to move out and so does the tenant. And they're like, mm, you're holding us to ransom. I'm like, well, if you guys want to sell it and you guys want to buy it, I'm going to make some money out of this. But the best thing was, I even sat there the other day, I was just like, if that does happen, I could message Greg and be like, hey, is the apartment open for a week or do you know what I mean? I just like, then I could, actually, could, I, I could just move straight into yeah. it and dip in and out of it when and as I need. Now, obviously, that wouldn't be a long term thing for me, but it's just like having that comfort of going, if that was rented long term and just say the sale went through really quickly, I'd have been like, where do I move all my stuff? What do I do? Yeah. Like, I'd have been absolutely panicked. But I was just like, having that flexibility with Air DXB. Yours is a three bed, isn't it? Yeah, it's 2,000 square, but it's, it's 2,000 square feet, sorry, beg your pardon, three bed apartment. Yeah. So you've got a lot. A lot of room. <laughs> yeah, a lot of Especially room for Especially for one person. <laughs> 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 exactly that. Um, so you do have that flexibility. You have that control. And yeah. that's what it's all about. It's peace of mind, honestly. As I said, it's that peace of mind having that flexibility and yeah, having you guys just run it from start to finish. It's just... It's a with, the, with the other thing we look at, I mean, the market at the moment is hot, but nothing lasts forever, does it? And if there is a situation coming financially, having that control means you can sell it. Now, I really hope nothing goes wrong in your life. I truly yeah. do. I truly do. Yeah, it wouldn't be idea. Um, that you would ever have to sell it. But, of course, if you had to sell it, what you've just described there, if there's a tenant in situ, the landlord and the new buyer obviously have to work on how to get that tenant out. You then, as a seller, you're selling a chain-free property that someone could move in, rent out, short-term, long-term, whatever they want to do once they purchase that from you. So the value that you have put on your own asset by offering it chain free if you ever wanted to sell it, it's huge. I did a deal the other day, 11% more than the asking price was paid because the person could take immediate ownership of it. Wow. One of the largest real estate agents uh, in Dubai. They came out with a figure, don't hold me to this one, but if something in the region of Jumeirah Gulf Estates, they've got some 75 properties on, and I believe only six, six could be bought and accessed immediately, the rest were long-term tenancy. Wow, really? So this is what I think is happening in this market, is mm. that a lot of people are wanting to buy into it, but can't find the property that they can then move into immediately. Yeah, yeah. Um, so having that, the value that puts on your property is huge. Yeah. Um, and look, we don't know what's around the corner. If this market does turn and you want to exit, you're, you're going to be at the top of people's piles of pro- or, or properties they want to see and buy, because you are holding those cards to make it that easy for that buyer then to come in and take it from you, immediate ownership and away you go. Yeah. So this is the huge thing with short let that I see and I talk to all of my clients about is having that control and times could well very get could very well become tough in the future. 
but you have that flexibility and control of your asset to move it in the way that you want to do it. Yeah. I mean, this is the other thing with short term as well. I was talking to another client about it. We're talking about the last four years and very, very simple graph. What's long term done? And it was trawling along the bottom and it's obviously now come up in the last three, four, five months. What's short term done? It's been consistently high for the last four years. Yeah. And when you look at your particular property, if you're talking about 100, 120 long term, and that was for about four or five years, short term we were doing double more to 240 last year yeah and we're heading towards exactly huge money <laughs> huge and doing doing exactly the same this year and you know i, I guess that's as i said I, i'd probably treat it way rather than like an asset as i said just treat it like a business right because you know, i get agents calling me all the time saying oh you know we can get you a million dirhams you know, if you've only had the property 18 months i'm like for me like a yeah, million a million over over because we bought it i bought it for 1.375 that's what i said that a million no, 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 hang on mark has gone the wrong no, way no, here no. <laughs> but obviously you know, a million in profit, million yeah, up in profit. Yeah, yeah so you know they reckon they can get 2.3 2.4 but like, that's for a property that's probably been on you know long-term rental you know if i turn around to a prospective buyer and said by the way this is what uh, ed xb has done for the last two years here's two four 40, 240 your long-term rentals would have probably done 120 120 it's like you'd have doubled your money so and 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 you get the keys yeah and now, you get the keys immediately so for me yeah. as i said actually guys you know whilst you might want to go in there and pay 2.4 i was just like actually i think from having air dxb behind us this whole time you can be actually guys we could probably squeeze another 10 20 percent out and 2. say well 6, guys 2. yeah 7. and yeah. you know the great thing is you know if, if they i mean if they weren't looking you know, necessarily to look into it or, or invest in it you could say well here's you know here's six months worth of bookings yeah you need to pay me out for these exactly you know, again that. it's just uh it's or, 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 or then or, or uh the next buyer inherits it it's what we have a lot of the buyer yeah. comes in and says i'm going to buy it what's the calendar for the next three months well we've already got seven eight grand's worth of bookings already in i'm not talking about your unit i'm talking yeah. in general um so you inherit an income that's already coming through yeah. Um, and the great thing is about short let, and as we've seen in long term, if the market drops, you have to adhere to the rear calculator. If it goes up, you have to adhere to the rear calculator. Yeah, when you short term rent, we do what we want to do when we want to do it. <laughs> and what you would have seen, and, and, and you've already said it, in the last two years, we've, we've pretty much retained that same level of income, yeah. which, is, which is significant. And when you look at what you purchased it for and, and the money you're making, you're talking north of 20% yeah. net return. Try and find another investment whether that's bonds, it's nearly, nearly whether that's possible. stocks, whatever, wh where are you getting that? And when you start talking about real estate, I can't think of anywhere where you're going to get that level of return and consistently and hassle-free. <laughs> well, no, that's exactly right. <laughs> <laughs> And hassle-free, of course. No. Um, you've got no plans to sell it? No, I don't think so. Um, I think for me personally as well, I, I could see why some people might want to because they've been out right. And again, this could is you, you know, could, you, could you cash it now? You're basically going to double your money. You would nearly, yeah, I, I, I would nearly double my money. But then again, you know, again, taking the you know, advice from Ed XB and yourself, Greg, is like, right, cash out now. I need to re enter the market where your mortgage rates, yeah, you know, my mortgage yeah. rates around low 2%, it's now gone up to six or seven in your Dubai. timing was perfect, it, like, absolutely perfect. And then, as Thank I said, God so you, you didn't buy a car, <laughs> <laughs> I'd have been sat in that right now, yeah, I? sat in that right now with <laughs> depreciation, <laughs> right? Yeah, I'd have definitely yeah. lost, I'd have definitely lost a lot of money from that. But, um, if I'd have bought a car, but yeah, as I said, like the, the timing was perfect. As I said, look at the mortgage rates, they've gone sky high now. If I sell, and then you're also re entering the market, so I'd have to try and get one of these properties again at 2.4 so well there's there's mm -hmm. no real value for it. me at the moment as i said you know I, you know you, you touched on it earlier like me personally i think you know not financial advice by any stretch of the imagination but you know i think it's going to be a really rough year and mm. you know keeping some cash in cash in the bank is going to be absolutely key and there'll be some bargains to be had probably in the next year or so i'd imagine even if it comes down 10 20 percent right it might go up but it's only going to go up another two three four five percent i'd imagine well, well we see i mean i i jump back to falls on this market one minute it's like well hang on how much more uh, buyers from certain countries are going to come into the country. How many more people are going to pay these huge amounts of money when they know 12 or 18 months ago it was substantially less? But it's continuing to go. Yeah. Um, and everyone thought this market was going to cool. We're now in March. We're coming to the end of Q1 effectively. And if you look at the DLD data and the level of transaction, whether that's the unit itself in particular or the value of it, it seems to continue to go and go and go. But yeah. look, you can go back and forwards on this, I think. So you're, you're, you're a tennis ball. Yeah. You know, well, hang on, the, the, the West is not in a good position. 16th biggest bank in the US has just collapsed. But then look at the figures of transaction that's going through. So, but again, it's that, what do you do with the money? Where do you put it in this world? And if you're making 20% on, on real estate, I mean, if the market starts dropping, you're still going to retain that same level. This is the, 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 yeah. the, the value of the asset, still retain that same level. And what's coming up in the future? rack of put and gambling yeah. they're, they're, they're now i was reading a report from one of the local papers where they are trademarking names oh wow really trademarking names That's yeah incredible. i've summed up rack um 
Vegas Strip, Rack Strip, or something like that. Some, something similar to the Vegas side. So if Rack are taking those, uh, you know, taking those actions, it's definitely happening, isn't it? And yeah. I'm sure Dubai will be looking to do the same. No. What's that going to do to your level of income and what's that going to do to the value of the asset? <laughs> no way, my money's going, all yeah. on red. <laughs> <laughs> all on another property, yeah. Yeah. please. I'm right. it, it definitely will be. <laughs> <laughs> Don't uh, bet that away. <laughs> all right, we've got half of that one. We've got half of that one. So, um, so from the perspective then of moving forward with Air DXB, the market's changed. If we look at what it's done in the last 12 months, 18 yep. months, long terms, depends who you listen to or depends what you read, 20%, 25%. Would you ever jump ship to that? No, absolutely not. As I say, not in a million years. Um, as I, say, I get landlord, uh, landlords, I get uh, agents calling me all the time saying, we're going to get you 200. I'm like, well, I'm still making more money with Air DXB and mm. I don't have to manage a property, right? Again, yeah. it's, it's that having, it's hassle free. I have an asset that I can dip in and out of when I need it at, at short notice, right? You're not then again in these long term contracts that. Yeah. If anything changes, then the best thing for me is, you know, I, I, I see the appeal for a lot of people. You know, maybe they see you know, short-term rentals as a long risk. You know, I've nearly been doing it two years now, and as I said, yeah, some months are absolutely incredible. Some months dip a little bit, but you know, if you look at it over a year average, I'm making way more than long-term rentals anyway, and I'm, I'm comfortable doing it. But I understand why some people aren't. I guess to a certain factor, but for me now, you know, when when these properties are dropping off the market guess what there's more it, it's less competition for me so i get more bookings you know i think i'm going to be busier than last year which is absolutely amazing right and i i, I put it down to the factors that you know i think we had a small chat and you're like no nope, don't go long term like this is the benefits you know i went away and, and thought about it and yeah actually no it's going to be good less competition on the market for me it's, it's I, great right i think that's gonna be the case we're seeing we're seeing i mean our portfolio has decreased uh we're not hiding that from anyone um or we are bringing property on but the level that is leaving it is more than that um is this a bad thing or a good thing it's a good thing because those such as yourself investors that stick with us are only going to reap the benefits because what is that doing it's creating less stock what does less stock mean when you've got consistent demand these yeah. prices are only going to go up now it's thought there's around 25 30 000 airbnb active properties which means there's been a booking in the last 30 days in dubai um if you base the sort of percentages of what we've lost uh look at uh large firms which track data you're looking at anything between a 10 10 to 20 percent possibly even more drop in stock that happens those that retain and stay in short term are going to make more and more money yeah. um and those that go into long term are in a contract now being dictated to for the next two years and i was talking to a client about this he wants to jump into long term i said okay go for it can I ask why well i'm going to get i'm going to get money i'm going to get paid it's guaranteed and i said well you've worked with me for two years when have i let you down on the income side look at what i've done and let's not forget the 30 40 percent margin that I have performed on, not long term, but I have performed on over long term yeah. for the last two years. So if you look at us as a company and how we performed, we've been consistent. It's only because long term's come up, you're considering it. Yeah. So I said, okay, well, how much are you gonna get? And it basically worked out, give or take 5,000 dirhams more a year. 5,000 dirhams a year, put that over 12 months, right? You're talking 300 dirhams. You're giving away full control over your asset for 300 dirhams a month. What happens when your family wants to come and join you for a week? You've got to put them in a hotel. You've saved that already. It doesn't. Yeah, yeah. This doesn't make sense. And of course, when you want to sell it, if things do go wrong and people do need to sell because they do need the income yeah. or they do just you know move out of where they are because they have to because they lose their job, that's another thing yeah, yeah. That, could, that, that could come. They can sidestep into this. But I couldn't quite get my head around it. I was like, I why can't. would you lose control over a half a million dollar, a million dollar, whatever it is, asset for an additional income of? <laughs> hundred dollars a month or two hundred dollars or whatever yeah. it is it doesn't make sense to me yeah it doesn't compute in my mind as well right and as i said you know we, we touched on this earlier but it's the fact is that you then manage that property mm. it's a headache no mm. property unless you bought a brand new property in dubai like properties go wrong here all the time yeah as i said you know i've been here 10 years and rented numerous properties you know i'd always speak to my landlord once or twice a month I, you just don't want that. What? And because you're going to make an extra 300 dirhams a month. I'd rather pay someone 300 dirhams and not call me. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and, no, no, no. And agreed, exactly what agreed, we're doing agreed. with their DXB. Agreed. I and, can't understand it. And then, of course, you find out when there's a rent increase or rent decrease. Yeah. yeah, yeah. When you want the property back, you've got to serve 12 month mm. notice. 12 months is a long time. time. If you lose your job and you want to get into that property to save money, you've got 12 months. You yeah. know, if, if for whatever reason you're downsizing, upsizing, if you want to sell it. The selling is the big one because, you know, mm. I mean, Dubai is a place to make money. And a lot of people make a lot of money. And by offering your property chain-free, ready to go, 
the pool that you hit is significant. Now, I've just bought a property myself, which we're talking about on the way here, just a little investment. Said to the agent, I don't come anywhere near me if it's got a long-term tenant, I don't care what it is, unless it's ridiculously cheap. It's 100,000 dirhams, of course I'll take it. <laughs> but I don't want a property with a long-term tenant yeah. because of not only do I want to bring it into AirDXB because we can make more money that way, but I don't want to be dictated to. I don't want to yeah. have someone say, well, I'm not leaving and you've got to do this and you've got to do that. So yeah. having that control and put a price on that. And if, if this market booms or if gambling comes in and you're now being offered three mil. Oh, that, would, <laughs> that would definitely raise an eyebrow or two. Shame but, free, ready to go. Yeah, yeah. You know, look at the buyers that will then be queuing up to purchase what you got. But then again, as I said, look, look at the amount of um, short term rentals I'd get from that as well. Right. So I think on, on wow. average, mine's doing like nine to ten thousand dirhams a month profit. Yeah, that's paying my mortgage, paying my service charges, paying everyone's fees. Like that's just money in the bank for me. Right. As I said, you know, you could that's do. crazy. Yeah. Like, yeah. I was just saying, what imagine if you had five of those. You know, some people can just oh, well, no. sit, sit in Bali and retire. Well, right. You, said you wouldn't even need you wouldn't even need five. Right. I think I, I just saw a statistic the other day to live comfortably in Bali. You need around two thousand six hundred dollars per month. You know, that's that's the property that we've got at the moment. Oh, gone. No, 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 hang on. We're making you way more than that. Well, no, no, but that's what I'm saying. So you but like, can live you, like a king. <laughs> you can literally you can be King Tommy. Yeah, <laughs> King Tommy <laughs> in Bali. <laughs> Living off but of one a, property in Dubai. It's amazing, right? As I said, the, the idea is, as I said, just accumulate another, however the, however it may be, like five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten properties, however long that's going to take me. And then, as I said, hopefully be on short term rentals with their DXB. And as I said, go and travel the world, right? You just spent how long in Miami, in, in America? On business. Yeah, I oh, know. Well, a bit of business. A bit of business and a, a, bit, of, a bit of fun, right? So that's, mm. that's the dream, right? I think that's what everyone wants to do, right? To have you know, residual income coming in where you can you know you can dip in and out of your work where you want across the globe and and, and be comfortable right not to drill down because it's your personal business mm. but i know you've dabbled with crypto yeah i don't know how to dabble with anything else yeah <laughs> don't give me the figures on it what's performed better real estate crypto or whatever like real else estate massively really yeah yeah massively better it's not hard though i'm ter terrible at trading crypto so <laughs> 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 okay, so, fair. That, I yeah, appreciate the honesty. So yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. I think, yeah, I think most people would probably say that. But yeah, let's see what happens next year. You know, maybe uh, maybe crypto will bounce back, and it might be a different scenario. But it's as I said, it's not necessary for me. It's a, I don't know enough about it to go right. I'm gonna you know, build a build my life around trying to earn money from crypto. Right, it's more of a fun thing. But um, with all respect, with all respect, and I genuinely mean this, you don't know, you don't know much about real estate. Yeah, but I have I have a lot of people that do know. Yeah, what, no, 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 which is no, great no, no, for me, no, right? no, 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 no. But that's what I'm saying. That's what the great thing is about. It. Sorry, yeah, yeah. So that's what I said. Don't do it the wrong way. Yeah, <laughs> right. is that you don't know much about it. You've got someone in to say, what do we do? What do I buy? Is yeah. this going to work? And look what it's done. Right, exactly so even that. when you look at crypto, you don't know much about, and that. Well, yeah. go, give me by facial expressions. Didn't do very well. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then you put it into real estate, and not only have you effective. I, I think you will. I think if you went out to the market now, showed the spreadsheets, I don't want to sell this to you because I don't want to lose your property. But yeah. go into the market. This is what we've done. The way that this market is going, offering it chain free, but you're going to double your money. Yeah, right? you probably would. And, and and the level of return of the money you put down is an offer 20% net. I mean, it's, it's massive. But I remember when you came forward with it and it was a pocket of them, wasn't it? There was five of those properties yes, in yeah. that tower. Five or six. I wish uh, I had the money to buy all five oh, or six. We've said this, have <laughs> we? You bought all of those now. You'd be sat there like, right, I'm king of barley. Yeah, yeah. I would, yeah. That was uh, it. You, you'd, be, you'd be on a throne and good to go, wouldn't you? Yeah, yeah. Be perfect. Un unbelievable. But, but, when but I think also, yeah. sorry to interrupt you, but mm. I think this is where it, um, <laughs> without blowing too much smoke here you know the guy had five of them and the guy actually said when i'd done the transfer i spent you know, had a coffee with him really nice guy um buys properties all over dubai and he had five of them on airbnb he did and he i said did, and he, he was just like yeah. what? he said to me what are you going to do with them i was like i'm going to put it on airbnb he's just like laughing and saying good luck and i'm just like have you seen the state of the apartments he's like yeah i'm like well, why would you think anyone would want to rent them i was just like and well, i clearly he's I, never heard of it yeah well this is yeah. the funny thing i said have you said have you heard about air dxb and he's like what's that and i was like well it's a property management company this is what they do look at the, the, the furnishings that they do and goes oh that looks quite nice and i think the guy was looking at me and i think by this point he had sold most of me he was probably thinking i might have made a mistake here mm. but as i said you know it's not and just, he did. it's not yeah, yeah he massive did. mistake i mean look yeah. how many have you got in the building now there must be uh similar to yours i think six or seven and they're all hovering around the same sort of money. <laughs> it's just crazy right and you know yeah. that would have been you know that would have been north of someone making 100 140 thousand germans a month off these all these six properties I know. but it's just you know as i said but i guess it's yeah you know, it's just having that ability to to trust mates that are working in industry and they go right here's some facts here's some yeah. figures this is what we can do and this is what we've been doing for the last couple of years why would you not so i mean i feel sorry for the guy that sold them all i'm sure he's doing quite well in life anyway but it, yeah, oh, did, did yeah. Make, well, did well, make if you chuckle. have five anyway you know he's probably doing all right but it's a joy to real estate isn't it? you've just got to catch it and this is going back to that initial chat 
don't invest in that. We were coming out of COVID. Well, yeah. you know, two and a half years ago, wasn't it? Coming out of COVID, it was only going to get better because it couldn't have got worse. Yeah, yeah. And I don't think Agreed. I'm going to be saying that to you, saying it, something's going to go here. And of course, having Eddie experience saying, look, the returns are there. But what you were buying is basically 2,000 square foot for 1.3, 1.4 million dirhams. <laughs> The value for money is off the chart, and I've always said that. When you look at Dubai, yeah. what you get, what it offers, even right down to whether it's bars, restaurants, or right up to uh, living in, in living uh, the life of luxury, for the want yeah. of a better word, the real estate purchase price is not a lot. 2,000 dirham, 2,000 2, square foot for what you then paid, even now where it's doubled for getting that location, that close to JBR, views of, what, three landmarks, you've got yeah. Atlantis one way, I think you've got the wheel the other way, haven't you? Yeah. It's not still not a lot of money, and that's the joys of Dubai, and that's why we're seeing a lot of visitors coming through as well. Is what Dubai is offering? It's now really taking its stride. I think the marina's got how many empty plots now? Two or three? It's two or three. Is it? Yeah, I, th yeah. I think There's it's coming not up. many. That's pretty much now complete. So you're now seeing Dubai blue waters, of course, things like this. But you're now seeing yeah. Dubai now almost getting up to full steam with what they had planned. Let alone what's coming, because yeah. what's coming is going to be off the charts, isn't it? Just winding this back. Um, something I have to pick you up on is the furnishing. Because yeah. I do remember going in, and he had leather couches, didn't he? And that was about <laughs> it. But you used our furnishing, didn't you? Yeah. Oh, absolutely unbelievable. Like, I mean, and, I and, any, anyone and, who knows me knows that I do not have an eye for interior just design, to be, to be quite honest <laughs> I with. was going to say, you did a Tommy on this, walked <laughs> yeah. in the crutches and went, whatever you want to do, see ya, <laughs> off you went. Yeah. Um, I mean, that, again, that's just the beauty of obviously handing uh, handing the the property over to you. It was just kind of like... I think um, I think I come and met you at Phileas Fogg. We uh, to celebrate after having uh, having a few beers. I even took my nearly lost half the paperwork from. Uh, I remember from, that. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Having just bought it, having just you bought it, and said, I've just bought this apartment. Here's the keys. <laughs> when you had all your paperwork, <laughs> get on with it and let me know we're making money. Yep, and perfect then, uh, client. <laughs> right, yeah, by the no, way, it's perfect just easy. client. But as I said, no, you know, just giving it to you from that point, and then you know, Le uh, Leanne obviously who heads up on, on the furnishing side with you, mm. you know, it's just like right, Tommy, here's a couple of packages. Um, these are the timelines. Uh, what do you think? And I was just like, well, guys, look, you know, I, I absolutely love it. Looks great to me. And you know, lo and behold, I think it was about a week or two weeks later. You're like, do you want to come and view it? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, let's why go. Not? See it, do it, get it on. <laughs> yeah, there, start making went, cash. went to go and view it. Um, and as I said, you know, I, I think by that point, I already had some bookings. Like you said, as soon as you got it on there, I think I'm a booking. Pretty sure it was in like 20, 24 hours or something ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, My yeah, first yeah, booking coming yeah. ridiculous. And you know, then obviously leading in, I think that was what the uh, September. Then leading into yeah, October, November, December, it was just an absolute whirlwind of messages. Here's your new booking. Here's some cash coming in. It was just unbelievable. Because, because you get paid directly by Airbnb, so you just get the SMS that says yeah. you've just made sixteen thousand dirhams. Why well, doesn't say that? I wish it did. That'd be amazing. But sixteen thousand dirhams gone into your account. Yeah. It's that it, it's the it's tangible. You can see it yeah. coming through, isn't and it? It's, 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 as I said, it's just it's just that easy, right? So, yeah. so I viewed a property which took me a couple of minutes. You know, Jamie was great when I was when I was buying it. Handed it over to you guys and said I've been in there a couple of times apart from that and as well, I said, it's, <laughs> it's good just... well look we look forward to you buying another yeah yeah me too. maybe two maybe three <laughs> that'd be the idea <laughs> might be coming to the Do bank you buy the building <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> buy the building you'll be fine don't worry about it but thank you so much for your time I greatly appreciate it and uh, as I said we look forward to making you more money thanks mate a massive right. thank you and a massive thank you to Ed XB as well really thank you cheers thank you if you want to learn how AirDXB can dramatically increase the return on your asset, then drop us an email at gregory at air-dxb.com or visit our website, air-dxb.com.